Hey guys, again the live before you here. This is the Coda Bokia Artifacts Deathstroke 1 6 scale pre painted PVC statue. Let's check it out real quick. Sorry if it seems a lot of focus sometimes when the uh, blade gets in the frame here. Everything else seems out of focus. Okay, let's go to spin. Again, it's a 1-6 scale, so it stands about almost uh, 12 inches tall. Um, it is a statue, so there's no articulation, obviously. Right. There's some really good detail on this thing here. Check out. That mesh there, body armor there, really nice. At first, um, I wasn't too convinced about the, the color, the orange on it, but now that I've seen it in person, I really do like it. I think it's a really awesome job on the paint and uh, the detail. Of course, it comes with this really nice stand. It's got a couple of pegs at the bottom. You just put them into the bottom of the booth. Be careful when you do that, though. Don't force them too hard because. That stand is plastic, so it can break. Comes with this really nice sword. Slides through the hand and just um, screw it in with that little ball screw there. Tip. Another look. Really nice. Code of Akil's making some nice figures. I mean, nice statues. They always have, but. Lately, I'm impressed with this one and the um, War Machine one I have from Iron Man. Which, uh, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out on my channel. That one's also really nice. I have it up in the corner over there. If you can see it from here. There you go. Check out my channel for that one. And, of course, um, one of the cool features about this thing is... Give me a second here. I'm doing this with the, the wrong hand. But give me... One, two, three, and there we go. The mask is removable. And there we have Slade Wilson. Sorry guys. The sword is taking all the focus away. Um, I would have liked for the mask to be able to like move back, you know, slide it up. But I guess not. Put a little magnet there on there, that tip. There you go. Good. Just be careful when you do put this, um, when you're trying to take it off. It can get stuck there near the uh, area by his chin. And you don't want to be scraping any paint off of that, so just be careful. But like I said, it would have been nice if they had an option where you can um, slide it up instead. But this is a really nice statue. I really like it. You know, when you don't have, when you just don't want to spend, you know, three to four hundred dollars on one of those other ones that are really detailed and expensive. Um, these are excellent alternatives. Let's give you a look at the box real quick. Go to Wakia Artifacts. It's a nice image. That's a nice work on the box. In the back. Sorry about that. If you want to read that, go ahead and hit pause. So, that's it, guys. Deathstroke, one of my top five favorite DC villains, of course. Let me know what you think here. Please feel free to share this. Google+, Plus, Twitter, Facebook. Please leave me comments below. I'm interested in possible a couple other um, Kotobukiya statues from Artif with, uh, the Artifacts series. Let me know which ones you think I should try. I'm thinking about the Iron Man. I think it's a Mark 42. One that would 
think would go very well with the War Machine one I have. But yeah, they did an awesome job on this. The detail, check that out. I really do like it. I, it would have been nice to have more than one blade. Um, but hey. All right, guys, and um, stay tuned. Got some more stuff coming for you. And of course, uh, this guy back here. You probably saw him in the sneak peek. That's the ultimate Darth Maul figure from Diamond Select. That they're very hard to come by. This came out, I think, in 2008. But I was able to get a hold of one. So, really nice. I'll talk to you guys about that in another video. So, let me know what you guys think. Talk to you later.